Yo guys, before we get into this video, we are currently on the grind to 70,000 subscribers. According to my YouTube analytics, over 50% of my viewers aren't even subscribed. So make sure you hit that sub button right now and comment down below, hashtag Witness70K. For the cheapest and most trusted grinding services, go check out The Plug on Twitter and on Instagram for all your grinding needs. Link for those will be in the description and make sure you let them know Witness2K sent you for a discount yo what's going on guys witness 2k back on nba 2k 21 my team we have a flash nine pack opening in this one with some absolute ridiculous cards we have a new invincible card which is the new dark matter james harden we have a pullable dark matter paul george that can play shooting guard and the glitched chris taps pazingas now he can play center and power forward Thank God he cannot play point guard. We also have a Galaxy Opal, James Wiseman and Jalen Brown. There is a couple of diamond cards. This DJ has a 94 three ball and like all the best Hall of Fame shooting badges. Some diamonds, amethyst, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? But let's go ahead and dive into this one right here. We got under a million MT, about 850K total. But today is an absolute amazing content drop from 2K. The cards are insane. We have mystery packs are back. I don't know if you remember mystery packs from last 2K, but every win you get in 2K, you get rewarded with a mystery pack. Now, I'm not sure what is going to be in the 2K21 mystery packs, but I mean, it's really endless of what could be in there. I've got no idea. It's pretty much, it's, I mean, they're mystery packs. So you have to pretty much just open them and see what you get. But I'm sure there's going to be a couple of pullable dark matters. There's definitely going to be galaxy opals and below you know pink diamonds diamonds whatever so that's definitely something i'm going to be getting into this weekend is grinding out a ton of those and bringing you guys one big mystery pack opening video keep your eyes out on that i don't know when it's going to be i'm gonna try and get it out today honestly i'm gonna try and smash out as many games as i can because it doesn't matter what game you play you can play my team unlimited limited triple that offline online every win you get you get a free dub so i'll probably honestly just smash out like some xp while i'm playing triple threat offline or maybe even some spotlight sims you could do spotlight sims as well and um, every win you get, you're gonna get one of those packs. But comment down below, guys. What are you guys interested in doing this weekend? Are you gonna grind out some mystery packs? Did you open up packs? I never recommend it, but did you open them anyway? Um, are there any of the new plays that you are interested in? Comment that down below and let me know. But this is a really good content drop. You know, 2K is starting to really pick up. The content's starting to get a whole lot better, which is great, but it's way too late. Late. like 2k gotta get got, gotta get the game popping a whole lot earlier than what are we even in right now may the, we're on the we're on the back end of may right now the game comes out in september we're closer to 2k 22 than the start of 2k 21 so 2k need to figure something out to get the game a lot more exciting a lot more quicker so we've pulled the amethyst cards early which no surprises right there but um there's nothing new added on the triple threat online boards i was kind of hoping there was i know we do have the mystery packs but having something on the triple threat boards like you could then grind triple threat boards plus getting mystery packs as you grind for you know a new dark matter card or something like that but i mean i'm just glad to get something we're getting really close to playoff time as well i mean it pretty much is playoff time we get a diamond right here but what do we have the hornets got eliminated the paces got eliminated today by the wizards which i'm glad i want to see wizards up against philadelphia you know that that russell westbrook versus joel mb tension you know i'm looking forward to seeing that we do pull out the diamond card of the set but i, I couldn't care less the lakers advance i would be the Warriors, the war who are the Warriors got to play? So the Warriors got to play against the Grizzlies to see who's going to verse the number one seed. So, I mean, same thing with the with the Wizards, man. It's going to be a tough series. Like, you got to win four, four out of seven. That's tough. You're going up against the number one team because if the Warriors win or whoever wins out of the Warriors and Grizzlies, then they've got to go up against the Utah Jazz. And I know it's the Utah Jazz and I know that chances of them actually winning the nba finals is so slim even though they had the best record in the league like they could go kind of far but 
they're just not a playoff built team in, in my eyes and I, I'm sure a lot of you could agree with me but I mean I would honestly like to see Curry average like 45 in the playoffs and just go deep into the playoffs I don't think the Warriors can win it especially without Klay Thompson but I want to see Curry go crazy and Curry has my vote for MVP as well comment down below who you think deserves the MVP of the season I think a lot of people will say Nikola Jokic and I agree as well but I don't know I just think Curry just he's just a different kind of animal he is different but Nikola Jokic if he gets it he a thousand percent deserves it as well and it would be good to see it is always good seeing someone you get it like I remember when Giannis got his first one when Russ got his first one, um, just it's just it's just exciting, you know, seeing someone you get it, and they'll also get it probably an invincible card. You got to think of that as well. Whoever gets MVP is going to get an invincible card. One thing I definitely don't miss about Flash content, like we haven't had a Flash promo in a while, and the one thing I do not miss is the terrible odds. The odds on a Flash promo are constantly garbage. From Flash one, where we had Diamond Kevin Durant and Pink Diamond Brandon Roy, odds were garbage. All the way up to now where we have three pullable Dark Matters, including an Invincible card, odds are still garbage. I mean, <laughs> that's just reverse psychology. That's what that is right there. That's, that's reverse psychology. It worked. <laughs> I don't even give a damn. I don't give a damn how wrong I look right now. I don't give a damn we got a Dark Matter pool. The thing about this Dark Matter pool though, is it can only be a W. PG, KP, or of course James Harden. I want James Harden the most, Paul George second, um, Christos Pazingas third. Do you think I can pull an Invincible card? I've never done it. Let's see what the hell happens. Come on, show me Western Conference number 13. All right, it already ain't him. It is gonna be PG-13 though. Let's freaking go. Paul George, this card looks so freaking good. He's probably the best shooting guard in the game. Take invincible cards aside. This card is absolute money. For sure, that is a W of a pull. I wish it was Harden, but I'll take a PG. I can't believe though, as soon as I started talking about how bad the pack odds are, 2K actually gave me a Dark Matter pull. Pink Diamond, watch, watch these be hella juice right now. Watch them. We got, who is the Pink Diamonds again? Give me DJ, bro. Hey, DJ is nuts. This is not DJ. This is Bridges, right? All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Would have rather DJ, but I'm just happy to pull the Pink Diamond over something like a Ruby card for like the 10th time. It's always such a good feeling when we can get a Dark Matter pull nice and early. We still have over 500k MT to go. Pretty much 500k MT to try and pull James Harden. So I'm gonna keep going. It's There's an Invincible card out there. Eventually, we are going to get an Invincible pull. I don't know when it's gonna be. I don't know who it's gonna be, but it could be today and it could be James Harden. So we gotta take the gamble. I'm gonna blow another 500K for James Harden. Even though we did end up pulling PG, I still stand by how bad flash odds are. Like I haven't gotten anything. I haven't even gotten, I haven't even gotten a pink diamond since we pulled that Paul George. So obviously the Paul George was fantastic. I think we got really lucky with that, but as a whole, yeah, these pack odds are no good. They've been bad all year. They were even bad in 2K20. The pack odds actually carried over, and we're just like, cause yeah, cause we've had flash, we've had flash for, I think just two years, 2K20 and 2K21. But yeah, they have been bad every single year, which 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 is honestly really annoying, really annoying. Every time we get flashbacks, they just. Well, I don't know why 2K do make them bad. And I don't want to sound ungrateful because I did pull a Dark Matter. I've said this before, not often. The main thing why I really don't like bad pack odds is from when, if is from thinking that, you know, there's some 12 year old kid that just had his birthday, bought VC to open up packs on this game and he doesn't pull anything. That's what annoys me. That's why I think pack odds need to be a lot better. Yes, cards will sell for a lot cheaper on the auction but i don't see how that affects 2k 
Like if they make pack odds better, I feel as though it would re it would raise VC sales because you're actually gonna pull something. So I don't know, that's just a theory of mine. I don't know, comment down below your opinion if you want. Cause there's people that today would have opened up a million MT worth of these packs right here. Probably got nothing, probably got nothing better than a pink diamond pool honestly like there's people out there that that happens to and yeah that sucks that really sucks so i do want better pack odds i mean it doesn't it doesn't phase me personally like even if you took the paul george away from me and i didn't pull him in this pack opening video i would sleep fine i wouldn't lose any sleep it, it would suck definitely and i want to pull the dark matters like i obviously want to pull the good cards because it just makes for better content but at the end of the day like it's not really gonna you know set me broke or, or affect me but yeah it's 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 the it's the it's the fact when i think of a of a young kid opening packs and they pull nothing like that's why the whole pay to win thing you know is so controversial and i understand it i mean it can be so just greedy from these companies it can be really greedy because i don't like do they make the pack odds bad so you keep buying and buying and buying and buying until you get something because i feel as though they would make just as much money maybe not just as much but very close to it if they made the pack odds so much better and this stands for 2k fifa madden whatever i don't, I don't play any other sports game but i don't know what their pack odds are like on other games but if you make the pack odds better i feel as though people are going to continuously keep coming back and wanting to buy more packs I mean, that makes sense in my mind i don't know what 2k's evil genius is back there working with it all the pup the puppeteer or the puppet master whatever controlling everything but i don't know i don't know if it was me i'd rather have less vc sales and more happy customers than high vc sales but a majority of people are salty and upset but that's why myself and so many other 2k creators push that you should never open packs like that was never something that all the 2k creators agreed on that's just something everyone figured out on their own do not open packs and whenever some i know when someone asks me should i open these packs or these packs I always just say none, like just never open them. It is never worth it. No money spent though has never been easier this year and never been funner in my mind. Like I have been like really, really, really money spent in a game of 2K. We got a shake, I've not got a galley circle, but I've been really money spent. Like I'm talking buying VC every single content drop having the best of the best cards imaginable on 2k19 and 2k21 i was freaking all in on those pack on on those um those 2ks this 2k right here 2k21 not spending a dime other than the game and having more fun is like beyond just the best feeling like i couldn't i recommend it so much i really recommend you consider at least being no money spent for 2k22 and just give it a go and see if you enjoy it like i understand like if your money spent right now if you want to finish the 2k being no money spent like you know oh let's go we pulled dj finally i have not bought him yet so I'll, I'll take that for sure but um if you want to finish a year doing whatever you want to do i get it but for 2k22 promise me that you're going to seriously consider being no money spent because the game is so much funner and when you get a card like that you had to grind for bro the best feeling the be and you i'm better at the game no money spent because i grind and play so much i'm better at the game than i think i've ever been that is going to wrap up the flash nine pack opening though guys was not too bad at all we did come away with a dark matter pool george pool which is fantastic we pull we couldn't get the invincible james harden unfortunately we could not get any of the galaxy opals or the Christas bazingas but i did get paul george which which is probably my favorite card from this set. I wanted James Harden because he sells for more and he is an invincible card, but Paul George, out of all the players that dropped today, is my favorite player from this promo, so I'm definitely happy with that. I hope you guys all did enjoy this Flash 9 pack opening. Make sure you all go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Leave a like on this video as well, and I'll catch you guys on the next upload. It's been witnessed.